947 on this border battle Saturday. I just ripped my rubber club. Oh, goodness mm -hmm. sakes. Be, What's going to happen? Carl Nelson with the Imagination <laughs> Station. He's the chief scientist. And boy, this, this could spell disaster no, for no, me. No, huh? be okay. It's totally non toxic. <laughs> it's just because it's going to get a little bit messy. Okay. So we're going to talk about how movie special effects people make snow on the sets without okay. having to actually make snow. Right. Okay. And it's all tied up in this compound called sodium polyacrylate. Okay, it's a super absorbent polymer. Right, it doesn't look like there's much in there. There's not much in there, and I got like 14 ounces of water here. I'm just gonna add the water to this. And you see why it's called a super absorber, because in a matter of seconds, I'm gonna hand this to you, I'm gonna hold that. It can gel up the water and turn it into this almost solid-like stuff. It's gelling like Magellan. Exactly. And What's happening there, science-wise, is that it's a polymer. It's a tangle of all these chains of molecules. And inside, when we add it to the water, mm -hmm. there's some sodium. That sodium dissolves, releasing locations where water molecules can get stuck to the polymer. Ah. And you gotta imagine millions of these things all tangled together. <laughs> They're gonna start to grow and they contain the water and they latch it into this gel. Okay. Okay? Now, <laughs> remember, it's the sodium that came out that allows all those little sites to hold the water. This is how uh, Carl gets his ideas too. He just pulls it over just his head like a head. light bulb. Exactly. Yeah. Pulls something out. <laughs> if we were to add more sodium to this stuff, we could actually reverse the process. We could neutralize the polymer. Oh, all right. St stick your hands out here. Yeah. This is where it gets messy. So I'm going to give you the gel. Okay. So we're going to turn this back into What we're going to do is we're going to add an excess of sodium with some table salt. So I'm just going to sprinkle this on top. Tilt your hands down a little bit so okay. the camera can see. I'm going right. to smush that in there. Now, the sodium ions are going to move into the polymer, oh. and they're going to start to release the water. They're going to actually neutralize the polymer so that it can't hold the water anymore. Is this what happens to snails when you put salt on them? Um, well, <laughs> it's an interesting <laughs> idea. Interesting. But you know what? This is what happens with diapers. Oh. Okay, this material is used in <laughs> baby diapers, and urine has about a 1% sodium content. So instead of absorbing like what you just saw, mm. 800 times its volume in water, right. diapers can only absorb about 60 times. Still enough absorbency. But that urine is actually a, uh, that sodium content is really a, an important consideration. <laughs> I'm glad it's not urine. <laughs> it's, that's not urine. No, no, that's just sodium right there. Okay, so how does this get us to snow, right? You take this same polymer and you cross-link it a little bit differently and you get what's called insta-snow. So I'm going to give you a bucket of water. Okay. This okay. is just regular water. This is regular water and this is a, again, the super absorber, but it's been cross-linked to form tiny little spheres instead of a gel. So let's just go ahead and pour our water in, get it to mix up there. And what'll happen in a, about half a second or so, or a couple seconds, is that it'll start to absorb. Those little granules are gonna start to swell up like this. Okay. They're gonna start to contain the water. Here it comes. And you can even, we can even make a mess here on the table. If we turn this slightly, you can see we start to generate all sorts of little clumps that look and feel that stuff. What does it feel like? It feels like a Griswold family Christmas because <laughs> this is what they would put on the ground, right? <laughs> it, you, you know, you could actually do that. You could actually sprinkle this on the ground and what's cool about it is it'll absorb water, but then over time it will turn back into the dry powder. So it's a little bit reusable. And you can easily blow it off with a leaf blower then? Well, the problem is that you'll blow it off to your neighbor's yard and then it'll dry <laughs> out and then when it rains again, it'll rehydrate and turn back into snow. Ooh. So. It's it a takes a little while for it to <laughs> it takes a while for it to break down. It does break down because of the UV light in the air. It's eventually. the newest scientific prank. I just had right. a snow job on my lawn. <laughs> all right. Thanks very much, Carl. If you want to check out all his mad scientific concoctions, you can see him at the Imagination Station. We've got the hours here for you. That's at One Discovery Way downtown, Tuesday to Saturday, 10 to 5, Sunday noon to 5, and all kinds of crazy Christmas-themed things happening down there this month. Absolutely. You can even pick up Insta Snow at our store. Ooh, excellent. All right. Thanks very much, Carl. That was this week's Imagine It's. We're going to turn it now over to sports.